Okay, I'm gonna give you the country bar breakdown of this this uh, plug here. It's a GFCI, which stands for ground fault circuit interrupter. And if you look at this or any plug in your house, if you look at the bottom, you see this slot here, that's your ground. Here to the right would be your hot, and to the left would be your common. And if you look in your breaker box, the common and the ground is shorted out together. So if you take a voltmeter on the back side of this plug and you put it on, you'll notice that the common and the ground is shorted out together. So what was confusing, the, re the reason why I'm explaining this to you guys, because I was having problems using this plug when I plugged it up to my food truck to get my refrigerator and stuff to keep running. Every time I plugged the plug in, it would kick this, this circuit. And I had a hard time figuring that out because I said the common and the ground is tied in together. So if the common and ground is tied in together, why is it tripping? You know, why? But if you look at this, it's ground fault circuit interrupter. So what it's saying that anytime you got power coming out and you have a short anywhere, even if it's a short from here, from your common to your ground, it's going to kick this circuit. So I noticed that I kept plugging it in. And the reason why I kept tripping because my breaker box in my truck my common and my ground was tied in together. So it was a dead short. So anytime you have a dead short coming back in, it's thinking that a wire is broke, so it kicks this circuit. So what happens, this kick. So here's an example. I got this, this wire here. I'm gonna put it in my ground and my common. And what's gonna happen, it's gonna trip. You see that trip? So it's tripped because it thought it had a short. So I'm gonna do that again. The ground and coming and to bypass this only thing you have to do is take your ground wire off and that will fix the problem then you you would be able to use this uh, GFCI if you want to plug in your food truck or anything else that has a short ground because you really don't need no ground because the ground is coming back through your through your coming and back to your breaker box to your house and to the ground to the earth so that's how that that works and this also works when you plug in, just say for instance, you plug in a grinder. Okay, you got your amperage coming through here. It's coming out and then you have your amperage coming back in to your common going to your transformer. So anytime you have a difference between here and here and your amperage, it could be five milliamps. It's gonna kick this circuit because what it's thinking is that this wire has shorted out to something. So your amperage is going in somewhere. So this is a protection. If you're getting shocked, if it senses any time that this voltage or amperage is going into something else, it's gonna trip this. So that's the reason for this ground fault circuit. So again, if you have something that's shorted, it's gonna kick off. You see it clicked. And to reset it, just hit the reset button. So if you wanna plug your Anything that has a, a breaker box on it, you make sure that your ground is not connected or you can either run it off a non-GFCI. I hope this helped. Have a great day.